Hi, I'm Neil of Team Teacher, teaching, living, and raising a family in China. Today, we're looking at app stores in China. Let's check it out. Back home, uh, you don't really have to think about app stores. They come preloaded onto your phone. So if you buy an iPhone, you'll get the Apple Store. If you buy an Android phone, uh, you'll get the Google Play Store or if you get a Windows phone, you get the Windows Store. Um, so they're all preloaded uh, and you can just download apps from uh, your phone straight away. When you bring your phone from home to China, often it's not really that much of a problem. Uh, if you've got an iPhone or a Windows phone, the Apple Store and the Windows Store just become uh, localized to China so you'll get access to all the apps that Chinese people have access to so sometimes that means that maybe you'll have a couple apps missing uh, depending on the location of where your phone is because you're in China some apps aren't allowed in the store so that means um, if you are trying to put a certain app from Apple Store while you're in China, you might not have access to that. A bigger problem is with the Google Play Store. So Google is actually banned, restricted, however you want to put it in China. And that means that you can't just load up your Google Play Store. It just won't work, it won't connect. So what can you do? Well, a lot of people uh, have one of these. Uh, it's a VPN, basically it tricks your phone or your computer into thinking it is in a different country like America, UK or Canada. So your phone thinks it's back home, therefore it's able to access that app store from back home. So you can use that for the Apple Store, the Windows Store, and to access the Google Play uh, to update and to download new apps. But what happens if you don't have a VPN or you find VPNs inconsistent or slow? What alternatives do you have? One alternative is to actually use a Chinese uh, app store or marketplace. Just like back home, iPhone have the Apple Store, while Huawei has the Huawei Store. Xiaomi has the Xiaomi Store. There's also an independent store like Tencent. You can download the stores apps from their website via the APK and load them onto your Android phone. And that's how you can actually download from these Chinese app stores. What I'll do is I'll put a link below so you can get direct access to them. Now, generally what happens with these apps, you can download the Chinese version and they will automatically switch to the language that's on the uh, device. So mine set to English, so it switches automatically to English. Uh, I actually use the, the different versions so I can use I use the Tencent, the Huawei, and the Xiaomi to search. My personal favorite is the Xiaomi. I just find the, the layout to be quite easy to navigate through and to understand. So the first page is lots of featured apps. So those are the apps which are popular. And then there's a ranking. So all the apps that are the most downloaded and you can look in the different categories. So you can look at games that you might want to download or you can look at um, whatever that you like. And so ranking is a good way to find out what apps are really popular. So QQ is really popular. TikTok or Douyin, if that's how you pronounce it is really popular along with a couple of games and these video streaming apps and obviously Wei Xin. One thing as well is you can actually search and you can search in English. So you can look, you can see my previous 
searches. I was looking for the apps for my bank to try to do some banking via an app. And I can actually just type in the English and it will bring up and search for that and see if maybe there's a pinyin equivalent. But what you can also do is write the pinyin. So I'll say, try this Ren Ren Shi Pin, which is a great video streaming app that we also have a video for, and I'll put a link to that below. And you can see I've put the pinyin in, and it also brings up the characters as well uh, of the pinyin, so I can actually search the characters and go straight to the app. So if you're looking for an app, you can try the English uh, name, and then if that doesn't work, you could try the pinyin. And if that doesn't work, you could try doing uh, the Chinese characters and maybe copy and paste them in from your WeChat or from a Chinese friend, uh, and get them to help you. So that's how you can download uh, apps in China without using a VPN and without using Play Store or uh, Apple Store or Windows Store. Remember, these apps are going to be the Chinese apps. So often they're going to be in Chinese. They won't all have an option to switch over to English. If you are wanting to say use QQ, you can actually download QQ here and you're gonna get the um, Chinese version. So it's all gonna be in Chinese. But if you're wanting the English version, you're probably gonna to have to use a VPN uh, and go to your app store and get the QQ international version. Uh, it's same for Weibo and Didi. Something to consider as well though, is if you use the international version that's often in English to using the Chinese version, there's going to be differences in the sort of features and functions you get access to, especially with something like uh, Didi, uh, they tend to roll out new features and new functions uh, quicker in the Chinese version than they do in the international version. It's also something to consider with WeChat as well. Generally, WeChat International doesn't have uh, the wallet function. So if you download the WeChat uh, from abroad outside of China, you're probably gonna have to download it again in China and download the Chinese version which you'll then switch over into English. Well, I hope you found that video informative. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Bye-bye.